right, I'm gonna do a little unboxing and setup of the Load Lifter 5000 from Airlift. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description and uh, show you how to install it. This is gonna be on a 2020 uh, Chevy Silverado half ton. And uh, if we're gonna get it set up for a camper. So, let's see what's in the package first. We have the airbags themselves. Two of those. Comes with all the brackets you need. And there's a right and left side. The cups to mount the bags. Comes with airline and fittings. Another sticker for the fridge. Um, these just have the L's. I don't think it comes with a T. Uh, maybe it does. We'll see here once I get into the install. But I think I'm going to put a T in there so I can fill both bags equally. Um, some people say you don't want to do that because it could shift some. Um, on my first truck I did it. I kept them separate. And it worked great. Um, I may or may not do that. I'm not sure yet. But it comes with your instructions. Eventually, I'll do an onboard air control. They make a wireless kit. Uh, <clears throat> comes with all the hardware. Bag's not torn. Shouldn't be any missing pieces. Just the U bolts to attach it to the frame. Upper and lower cups. And just the rest of the bracketry. And that's. That's what you get in the box, and uh, we'll move on to the install here. Okay, guys, step one safety is important. Chalk your front tires, and then you're gonna come back here. We need to get the uh, weight of the axle suspended. So, I'm gonna use my floor jack, I'm gonna go right on the rear end right there. Um, jack it up and then I'm gonna put my jack stands under the side rail frames so the uh, weight of the axle will be hanging and that will allow us to uh, fit those bags in when it comes time. Okay, Here's what I mean about getting the weight off the axle so it can droop. I had to go up a little further because my jack stands weren't tall enough. But when we lower this Have to stay and the axle keeps going down. Hopefully that's enough. I have to go up another notch, but larger gap now. Okay, the next step we're gonna put these spacers in for the brake lines that are attached to the driver's side of the frame. You're gonna grab the two spacers here, and these two here. These are the the longer. One's in the set. I'm gonna grab a 13 millimeter. I'm using a little wobble extension and an impact to remove them. And this, here on the passenger side, the location of this brake bracket, right by the driver's side rear tire. And it is, you can see the lighting, it is right there. I'm going to remove those bolts. The factory bolts will not be reused. We're going to take those out, add the spacers, and we'll put the new bolts in. All right, these brake brackets, they want to be torqued to 10 foot-pounds. So I got my uh, torque wrench set at 10 foot-pounds. There's little flimsy uh, washers back there, so I think my impact might have strip them out. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to follow the distractions. Really difficult to do while trying to hold a phone, but you get the idea. Just 10 pounds on both of those till it clicks. All right, next step, you're going to grab a 10 millimeter, come up under here to the bump stops. You want a deep socket 10, and you're going to take these out. There's a 10 in there. So take these out on both sides. And uh, I'll be right back. OK, 
Okay, once you get your bump stops out on both sides, we're gonna wanna come around to the front side of the axle and there's T40 screws that hold this little uh, wire harness cover. There's two of them. Where's the other one there? Kind of hard to see. This one's down by the shock. This one's closer to the rear end. They're on both sides, so we're going to grab our T40, come back down here and get those out of the way. Okay, there's another one really close to the back of the... You can't really see it, but there it is. There's another one right there you got to get, so there's three. The instructions say the outermost two, um, so maybe you have the one here, and there's another one this way. But that one I didn't see at the beginning, so. This is why I like to do videos. Um, the instructions are not the best. So through trial and error, I'm going to figure it out. And hopefully this video will save somebody some time. Um, the instructions say to remove the brake line bracket attached to the axle under the leaf spring on both sides of the vehicle. Now, that is this brake line bracket right here. You can't see that, but I'll show you in just a moment. It says to use, uh, it says attach the brake line bracket G under the factory hardware previously removed and tighten securely on both sides of the vehicle. Now there is no G in the parts breakdown. There is no G. Um, and then it says, using hardware J, L, and M, you can see here J, L, and M, there's also no J, L, or M on that breakdown. So it is my assumption this would be G, the brake line bracket relocation, and this would be J, L, M. It's just a, a bolt that fits with a washer and a lock nut because we're going to be moving that brake line either up or down. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm, this picture does not do it very much justice. I'm thinking we're going to be pushing the brake line up higher, which we'll see when I get down there, but um, at least hopefully this will save somebody some time. I am going to use that little bracket to move this down. Um, it just seems like it gets the brake, sorry, my headlamp's kinda, it just seems like that gets the brake line out of the way because we're gonna be putting the bag up there. So, what is going on? Anyway, um, I'm going to try it like this. You can see I have the bracket in there. Everything is a size 13. Oh my God. Everything is a size 13. Let's see if you can. So, uh, yeah, I'm moving it down and I'm going to proceed with the installation. If I have to move that later, I will. But for now, that's what we're going with. Sorry about the camera angles, guys. This is kind of hard my lifts locked up so next we're gonna get this bracket here and the let's see if I can get a better shot of this the instructions are so that's here this is why we took those t40 torques out so we have room to shove this thing in here um, the best I can see is you take this notch there aim it up we're going to set it under that cup, and I, I believe it's going to go like so. On both sides, we'll do that, and then we're going to assemble the bracketry for the bag. But that's how those are going to go in there. So again, on the other side, take that notch here. We're going to have it up. And I didn't take these torques out, so <laughs> I'm going to take those out, and then I'll get this in. That's why uh, that's why you got to take it out. So I guess you can't skip that step. I just forgot to do it. Okay, quick check-in. These instructions are uh, frustrating, we'll say. Um, but I think I'm starting to get things figured out. Uh, Something happened today for the first time ever that I've never had happen before. They always say disconnect the negative side of your battery before you start any project, and I never do that. Uh, when I was tightening down the brake uh, bracket relocator deal, I actually got a spark 
Luckily, nothing happened, but that's the first time I've ever gotten a spark, so I figured I would just uh, throw that out there. Maybe, maybe it's not a bad idea to unhook your uh, battery. Anyway, the instructions seem to like talk about things that aren't even here. Regardless, um, you need to open up this uh, the bag that has the airline in it because it actually has some of the hidden hardware pieces that uh, we're looking for. So. We're going to start to assemble the bag now. Um, in doing so, there's a step that you could... I need to... Uh, I'm going to start with these. These are identical, so the sides don't matter on this uh, lower piece. It's the upper one that's going to matter. Um, there's the beveled edge that will accept these, these uh, Allen bolts, and that is a 5.5 metric size. That's what I'm using here. It's 5.5. Uh, but this is the bottom side. So we're going to flip it this way. Hopefully this is showing. Uh, and we're going to need to take one of the uh, lag bolts. It has the square. It's going to lock into the square here. need to put that in place first. And then we're going to take the lower airbag plate. Um, and we're going to put this circle towards the center. Uh, this would be the center of the vehicle. We're going to use these two holes here to mount this. So you can see these these bolts. Uh, you need you need to get this bolt in place here because once we once we put this bracket here, you wouldn't be able to uh, get that bolt in after the fact. So make sure you put that here. We're gonna grab a bag. Um, the bag has three holes on the top side, two on the bottom side. We're gonna put the bag. There we go. We're gonna line these holes up. See them there. And with this lag bolt in place, we can line these up, get these started. Do the old good and tight. Now this this is where we're going to need it later. We'll be able to add the additional one after the fact. You just want to make sure have this in place before you mount the bag. So there's the lower part of the bag, and the this is going to be the front of the vehicle. So that bracket we have in there now has the the tab on it. This is going to sit there. Um, I did realize that those uh, T40 bolts that were taken out of the brake line cover, in order to make room for that, um, the outer two, the one closest to the wheel and the center one, are going to remain out because that bracket, I just kind of threaded them in place so they'd be there, and it lifts that bracket up so there's no way to leave all three of those in. So you're just going to leave the innermost T40 in that, and I'll show, uh, show that when it comes time. Next, you're going to grab your uh, air fitting elbows. They already come with some sealant on them, which is cool. It's going to go into this one here. And the instructions say to just do it finger tight, which it swivels. So, and then one and a half turns. Let's see. Tighten it finger tight. And then additional one and a half turns. And it's still, everything's 13 on here, which is good. So we'll go one and a half. We're going to measure this later when it comes time to put the top brackets on. And it's going to be like seven sixteenths of an inch or something like that from, from here. But, uh, uh, well, actually, we can just do it now. Let me hit pause, get things ready. All right. With the instructions the way they're written, it's impossible to know this until now, but... Uh, 
following the picture that I see, it appears I put this bag on the wrong way. I lined up this circle with the open circle here. Um, but according to this picture here, I'm noticing the bolt. So there is a left and right lower. And it actually does a good job of indicating that. It's just the parts are identical. But you need to make sure which side you're setting up. Um, see how this lag bolt here is on the right and this uh, air fitting is on the left. If I look at mine, how I set it up, I have my lag bolt on the right and my air fitting on the right. So what I need to do is I need to take this bag off, do a 180, put it back down, and then I'll be ready for the next step. So I'm going to switch both of these bags and I'll be back. And these are supposed to be tied to like 20 newton meters or something like that. So I'm just doing it really good and snug with my hand and calling it good because I don't have a torque wrench that does Allen's. So there, now, now my lag bolt's on the right and this air fitting is on the left and my left bracket should fit like the picture. And you can see that from overhead. And if it wasn't for the picture, I wouldn't have known I did it wrong until, uh, until I got under the truck. Okay, so we're, we're dipping back into the hardware bag that came with the airline. Um, you're gonna grab, uh, you're gonna need your torque wrench again. And this time we're going to be at 20 foot-pounds or 27 newton meters. Uh, and then you're going to grab the bolt. And then you want to do your lock washer and then your standard washer. And we're going to attach the bracket to the top of the bag. Just get them started. So it's lock washer, there you go, there you go. then normal washer. And again, we're going to go to 20 foot-pounds. And this is a, the first 14 millimeter socket. Everything else so far has been 13. I had to switch it up a little bit. And there's no way I could get an accurate torque this way because I'm fat and it's going to just be absorbed in my belly. So set it down like that. We'll use the tailgate. There we go. Okay. It says don't exceed 20 pounds, so that's why I'm using a torque wrench. There we go, we got one bag. Oh, now we're gonna measure the height of this. And it needs to be, I believe, seven sixteenths, seven eighths. Okay, so we need seven eighths. And 
and that is measured from the top. So we are four. Uh, of course, that is a and we are exactly there. So, wow, I just did it hand tight till it stopped. I did one and a half turns and this one actually came out perfect. We are at seven eighths. I know you can't tell that, but four, five, six, seven eighths. It's right on the money. So that's good. You just do that to the other side and uh, we'll be under the truck again, putting them in. And we're just making all the mistakes. I didn't put the top uh, bag holder on before I put the bracket in. So don't forget to do that. <laughs> there. <laughs> and I'm going to leave that mistake in the video because too lazy to edit anything and I don't care everybody uh, goofs up I am by no means a pro I watch YouTube to do half the stuff I do anyway so yeah make sure you put this in before the bracket there we go really quick reminder the uh, T40 Torx closest to the wheel is removed. The one right under the bracket is removed. And the one closest to the uh, rear differential is still intact. Uh, you need to do that in order to uh, be able to move this bracket forward and back when we line up the airbag. I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed. Um, uh, Probably not. You're gonna have to hold. It's kind of hard to get you guys a good angle on this, but this is the driver's side. So that lag bolt is closest to the center differential. And the air fitting is pointing towards the outside of the truck, closest to the wheel. Um, we have our front bracket in, and you can see there's a flat plate up here. And I'm gonna see if I can set this up there one handed. that in the inside of the brake line so we now know that relocating that brake bracket lower was the correct way to go let's see if I can show you that again that was the correct way to go um, that gave us room for the uh, brake line to get out of the way here and now you're gonna need this this bracket and you can see it has the that notch on it you'll see where that fits into the plate uh, what this is going to do, um, it's going to go, oh shit, there's the two holes, you'll see them. Uh, basically, both of these brackets hook into that bottom, uh, oh shit, this, the bottom here has a cup that both of those brackets are going to go into, and that's what gives it its strength on the bottom. So. The notch, the notch on here is going to go to the bracket of the airbag, and this larger section is going to go inside that factory cup there. Um, and then I'm just going to somewhat securely get them there. I don't know if I'm going to have to mess around with it at all, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get it snug in there, and I'll show you. Okay, hopefully you can see now. I have those in there. Um, this this one here, um, I used a. A wobble extension because this uh, uh, shock bracket is in the way so uh, I just went ahead and sent them home um, I'm not sure what the torque's supposed to be but it looks as though we might be able to get the uh, the torques back in here uh, I might hone that hole out a little bit I don't know if you can see that I might have to uh, elongate that hole a little bit but uh, I'm gonna put those back in before I'm done with this project so just Factory put them there, might as well put them back. But uh, so now the, the bags, I have both sides 
installed. Um, you can see that. Uh, wasn't too bad. I'm going to now uh, lower the uh, vehicle. You can see the, the room I have up here now. There's, you know, five inches or whatever. Uh, so I got to get the truck off the jack stands and that'll bring the uh, frame down to meet the top of the bag. And then we can uh, attach it up there. And there's some pre-drilled factory holes here and there's holes that line up right here. Um, we'll see, it might be kind of fun getting it around that top cup here, but uh, yeah, there's some self-tapper uh, bolts that I believe is the last step to this journey. And then we should be able to run some airline. So I guess there's two ways to attach the top bracket. If you have a fifth wheel hitch, which I clearly don't because this is a half ton, that's what these little self tappers are for, um, for those pre-drilled holes. So I will use those for a project later in life, but uh, this job calls for these U-bolts and the nuts. So the destructions say to put them over the frame before lowering it. Might as well grab both, huh? So what we're gonna do is that. And then we'll lower it. And they're gonna go into... Oh, there's holes right here. You can't see that. But yeah, we'll use those U-bolts. Okay, there's the uh, U-bolts over the frame. I'm just waiting in place. Just thought maybe you could see. They're uh, almost you know, lined up pretty close. Um, I did get the uh, Torx back in. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, just I have the two in. I didn't get the one by the wheel. So two out of three ain't bad. We're going to go with that. But uh, yeah, so now we're going to jack the car up, truck, whatever, and get those jack stands out and set it under its own weight, and we'll uh, get those hooked up. So I was coming over here to see if those bolts are going to be long enough. And something kind of funny happened. Just lowering it into place, that one actually went into the holes. This one, this one didn't, but you can move it around and just set it in the holes. I just thought that was kind of funny that that one fell right into place. And also, I'm not going to get under the truck to get these things started. So you can access them from your uh, wheel well. It's good to know. <clears throat> okay, so that one went right in. This uh, one here didn't sit down so nice. So I'm just going to get a BFH. Give it a little tap. Reach around and make sure the back side goes into the hole. And there it goes. That's it. So have a hander, uh, hammer handy. Okay, the airline, basically you just run it, whatever works best for you. I chose to put my fill nozzles right here. Um, and I did have a helper because you have to hold the nut on the back side, but I put mine here. I put the right one is the passenger side. The left one is the driver side. Just like you consider everything there. Um, let's see. I'm going to grab a flashlight. And you got to get under the truck. I, uh. With my airline, I ran the one to the passenger side through the hole in the frame, and they supply zip ties. This one's coming here. Coming down here, I zip tied it around the U-bolt. These are swivel 90s. So you can see it swivels. You just gotta get it up out of the way so it's not gonna affect anything. And This one's coming through the hole in the frame. I used the body deal to zip tie it there, did the same thing here. And those fittings just push in, they're super easy. You wanna use a razor blade to cut the airline. Don't use scissors, cause it'll be a shitty cut. Um, and they, that's about it. So now it's time to 
hook up the camper, but that's the full install right there. It's all done. Claire. All right. Is it recording? Yes, it is. All right. So. Whoa. Now these max out at 100 PSI. That's 60 right there. 60 right there. Done. D-U-N? D-U-N done. Okay, wheels off now. So you can get a better idea of the airbag setup. Top bracket, U-bolts go around the frame like that. Zip tied the airline there. Um, you can see the front of that is like so. All those lag bolts going to fit into the square. The notches of all the lower pieces of that bracket are here. Hopefully that helps. The back one here. Let's see. There's the two there. And they all go into that, uh, the lower ends of those brackets all go into this cup here. There you go.